Hi everyone. Welcome back to the How to Use Famitracker series. This time I wanted to talk very briefly about exporting your projects and creating perfect loops out of them. Um, most of the time when you're creating a chiptune song, if it's not for like an album or something else, you're probably making it for a video game, in which case you want it to be a perfect loop. Um, unfortunately, when you export it, if you just take your song and export it one time, um, you'll probably notice that there's a gap at either the beginning or the end of the loop. So if I zoom in here, you'll see, yeah, there's a gap. So if I tried to play this, there's an ugly old uh, gap in between there. And you could go in and manually cut those out, um, which isn't a bad idea, but it still causes problems because sometimes you'll have a little clip at the end or there's one at the beginning too, okay. Um, and it's just very frustrating. So the way that I do this to remove all the uncertainty out of exporting a loop is I actually go in here and I click File, Create Wave, and I play the song three times in the loop. And then I'll just overwrite the file, that's fine. And then with that, I have three loops here. So what I need to do now is I just need to find the loop points in here and cut out the first and the third uh, loop. Here's one. And this takes a little bit of getting used to, um, there we go. So which is right here. It takes a little getting used to being able to read the waveforms. You can see all of the beats and all of the percussive hits and it's just kind of zoning in on the right one, which is right here and then get as close to uh, the zero dB as possible because if you end up with something that's a little higher, like over here, you might have a click or a pop once the, once the loop point hits and you don't want that. So just go here, shift home to go to the beginning and then we have the beginning sorted. Now we just need to go take the care of the end, which actually I think I pretty much nailed it right there. It's like right here. I would say like right here. So now we should have a perfect loop. And this overcomes a couple problems with the Famitracker exports, especially if you just focus on exporting one loop and cropping off the sides. If there is something that carries over at the end of the song into the beginning, you're going to miss that. And then that reverb tail or whatever it is, is going to be uh, missing from that loop and you're going to still hear a bit of a seam. I actually talk about this more on an audio basics episode called Creating Perfect Loops if you wanted to check that out. The link will be up in the top up there and also in the description below. But really that's all I have for this episode. I wanted to talk very briefly about creating loops because that's such an important part of Famitracker and video game music in general. So I hope that you got some important information out of this and I'll see you next time. Take care.